Hey Taurus, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be good for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Raising, Venus placements, or if you are dealing with a Taurus, these messages may resonate with you as well. It's a general reading, so it will not resonate with every single Taurus watching. This is gonna be good for Taurus, dealing with love or dealing with a specific person. Someone needing clarity uh, in regards to a situation. It will not be for every single Taurus watching. Sometimes I get very specific messages. Again, uh, just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And there is a possibility um, energies can be interchangeable because this is a general reading. So please keep that in mind as well. First card out is into the unknown. So there's an energy here of um, having some sort of fear of moving into the unknown. Okay, going towards something that is new or going towards something that feels unfamiliar to you. Okay, um, there's um, there's also an energy here of feeling like maybe someone's playing games with you, or you may be questioning the motives of someone that you're talking to. Okay, what else, Taurus? Yeah, there's something here about self love. Finding happiness within yourself before you're seeking it um, externally. That's showing up here. Some of you may have gotten entangled with someone who's married or has children. Yeah, there could be a love triangle here for some of you that I'm reading for. Okay. Um, some of you, if that is resonating with you, the person that you're dealing with, if you are dealing with someone who's married, they're very unhappy in that situation. But there's something here about feeling like you're second or feeling like uh, you're... Yeah, like your second place or second best. And so there's a, real, a need for you to realize um, your self-worth, okay? Yeah, this person's definitely settling in a connection. You do have soulmate here. This could be somebody you feel like is a wish come true. There is something new here coming in. Um, I feel like somebody that wants to put you on a pedestal, someone that wants to treat you the way that you deserve to be treated. You do have a very deep, intense connection with someone and it feels like like this person may make you act out of character at times, okay, is what I'm getting with this this uh, energy here. Very deep, very uh, intense, but they may trigger you a lot, okay? You, yeah, someone new here. There's something brand new birthing into your life um, as far as a connection, something that you've been waiting for. Um, I feel like for those of you that's resonating with, if you're going towards something completely new, I feel like this person from the past still feels like you're waiting on them. Okay, they've been slow to return or slow to move towards you or make some sort of effort in the connection because they feel like they know that you're going to be waiting for them or that you're waiting on them. Taurus, what else? This is a divinely guided connection. Um, yeah, look, player, you guys are dealing with someone who is keeping you at an emotional distance um, and playing the field, keeping their options open, but they feel like like they can go do their own thing or they can go talk to somebody else because they feel like you're going to be waiting for them when they come back. Okay. Interesting. And that's why you have the message here of self-love, knowing your worth, knowing that you're, you deserve better is what I'm getting with that. Um, yeah, look at that. They will call this person that you feel detached from this person that you feel, um, maybe playing games with you where there's distance here, they will call because you're the one that got away. Because this new person or this person that they're moving towards, they don't measure up to you, Taurus. This person gives you a lot of mixed messages. It's like, it's hard to read this person. They really confuse you and what it is that they want, probably because they're very in and out is what I just heard, the energy. Um, someone here is moving in silence, okay? So they could be silently moving towards you um, and that's that message of they will call hmm yeah look at that and what is that what what are they going to return for to apologize to you for disappointing you and hopeful that you will accept their apology so let's look at you and the person you're dealing with um could be going with an aquarius for some of you but you don't have to be i'm also getting sagittarius i'm going to go over your energy first Let's do your person first. We'll do your person first and then go over uh, your side, Taurus. Take which side resonates. Energies can be interchangeable because this is a general reading. So just keep that in mind, uh, Taurus. What's on your mind when it comes to this connection? What do you think? What is your person thinking about when it comes to this connection? What is your person thinking about for Taurus when it comes to this connection? Five of Cups. A missed opportunity. 
maybe due to a third party situation. Some of you, that third party situation had to do with work. Um, there could have been some sort of affair at work and they're thinking about this, okay? They're grieving. They're thinking about the breakup. They're thinking about the loss. They're thinking about the regret, okay? How do they feel towards you? Taurus, how does this person feel towards Taurus waiting? This person's hopeful that you'll return to them, I'm getting. Um, feeling a little bit needy, hopeful that you'll return. The fool, they feel like, and then frozen here. This person feels like, um, look, it's hard to let you go. They're resisting the change and letting you go. They feel like you're going towards something new. You could be dealing with an Aries. You're going towards something completely new, a new opportunity. And they see you doing that. Some of you, they're watching you on social media. I'm getting. How do they view you, Taurus? Nine of Cups. They view you as a wish fulfillment. And again, I'm telling you, this person views you as you're still waiting for them. Like, even if you moved on, you haven't truly moved on because you're still waiting for them is what I'm getting. Okay. But they view you as like you're a, a wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups here. Five of Pentacles. You may have left this person out in the cold. Shut them out, walked away. All right. Um, what's on your mind, Taurus? What are you thinking about? Page of Wands and King of Swords. Could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. And you're thinking about communication with this person. I'm getting strong Gemini, the lovers. Uh, you're thinking about a choice between two or some sort of decision in regards to uh, this connection or who you should pursue uh, with the Page of Wands here. You're thinking about some sort of communication or back and forth uh, messages with someone that's very exciting for you. It's very passionate. Could be with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But there's an emotional detachment here, Taurus. Or you're trying to emotionally detach by communicating with something new or moving towards something new. How do you feel, Taurus? Four of Wands. Manifesting. Could be going, uh, there's strong Gemini. Virgo, you feel kind of stuck in your head, Scorpio, as well, in regards to an ending um, here. Some of you are just like going out, having fun with friends. Um, wow. But you do still feel like you're in search of this Ten of Cups, um, this happily ever after. You do still, um, you're manifesting, like you're in a space of manifestation. You guys are trying to manifest your happily ever after, somebody you're going to be married to, some sort of commitment. Uh, this happily ever after is how you feel. How do you view your person, Taurus? How do you view your person? Internal conflict. So very much so in a space of in their head. The tower could be playing with the Scorpio and the Page of Cups. Um, and the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you view this person as in a commitment. They have a decision to make, um, but they are in a commitment. You view this person as, I feel like, okay, if this hasn't happened yet, it's coming in. This person may unexpectedly uh, confess their love to you and you view them in that light. Or you view them as like intuitively you know their feelings, but you view them as there's like internal conflict surrounding them opening up and expressing how they feel, okay? What's the mutual energy? King of Cups. Could be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Mutually, you guys love each other. There's mutual love here. Taurus. But someone's unawakened to that love. Someone doesn't fully understand their emotions for this connection, maybe because they're tied up in a karmic connection, okay? Yeah, because there's somebody else here. Taurus, you may be the one that's tied up in a karmic connection, or, I mean, take it how it resonates. It could be the person that you're dealing with, but there's water and earth here showing up. One of you is dealing with a karmic partner. One of you doesn't fully understand the love for the connection because this is the mutual energy. Okay, what's challenging this situation? Two of swords. Someone has a decision to make. Potentially a choice between two and then the ace of wands going towards something completely new. Having a new beginning is in your challenge. Making a choice and having a, a new beginning is in your challenge position. What's the outcome? You guys, someone who's been hiding their feelings is going to come forward. This is a divinely guided situation happening here. Um, confess their love to you, offer you an apology. I do see that here with the apology, right? We knew that was coming. So someone's gonna offer some sort of apology. 
uh, and whoever was hiding their feelings before is going to be vulnerable in love and express that. It's a divinely guided situation. Okay? So, um, let's see. What does this person want to say to you? Taurus. Taurus. What else can you tell me for Taurus and their person? What does Taurus need to know? It's best I maintain a distance between you and I. I'll continue to watch you from a distance. Yeah, someone here is definitely watching you from a distance. Um, watching you online, watching you go out with your friends, having a good time, living your best life. This person's watching you. What else? I'm a bit immature, but I'm a dreamer and capable of deep feelings. Let's have some fun flirting with each other. I feel like this person misses the attention that they get from you is what I just got with that. This person misses the attention that, that you would give them. Um, they miss that, the passion. Don't be needy. Don't be needy. I want to challenge you to become independent and feel free in our relationship. That's very specific. Um, I'm not going to be the first one to make a move. <laughs> so you guys are kind of at a stalemate, which that's your blockage too is being at a stalemate. I'm putting on an act to get what I want. I'm going to conquer you. I don't care who you're dating, you are mine. Yeah, see, and this might be your tagline because I feel like somebody's watching you move on or like, mm -hmm, that's what I'm getting. They're like watching you move on and it's making them feel some type of way, okay? And they, they want to come in and offer you an apology. They want to come in and make things right. They want to come in and express their feelings that they've hidden from you this whole entire time because they view you as a wish fulfillment. And now that they, because remember, they view you as you're waiting for them, right? So now that you're not waiting for them and they see you moving on to something else, now they want to come in and, and tell you how it is or what it is. You know, I've been hiding my feelings from you. I don't want you to move on from me. This person may feel you slipping away from them. I don't want you to move on from me. You're mine. <laughs> like mine. Uh, what is that? Finding Nemo? Mine, mine, mine. That's what I'm getting. Like this person feels like you're their person and they feel some type of way about you potentially moving on because they thought you were going to wait for them forever. Okay. So um, that's what I'm getting with that. Taurus. What else can you tell me for Taurus? I couldn't let you get too close to me and I hope you forgive me one day. So this person's definitely guarded. They're showing up very guarded um, and not allowing you to get too close to them, but they want some sort of forgiveness, all right? Um, interesting, let's see, what else, Taurus? What else can you tell me for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Jealousy, yeah, this person's very jealous that you guys are moving on to something else. You know what, let's, let's look at some, because I know a lot of you get so tired of hearing about um, this past person. Some of you really want to know what this person's thinking because there is mutual love there, but I feel like for a, lo a lot of you going towards something new, you want to hear about this new connection too, okay? I do see some sort of obstacle in this new connection that you have going on. It could be distance between the two of you as well. I do feel like you have a lot of fun with the new person that you're dealing with, Taurus. I do, I feel that intuitively. Um, but I'm getting like, you may be a little bit guarded too, against this connection too. It's like not wanting to repeat the past. Um, Taurus. Yeah, see, I told you. Some of you, it may be distance between the two of you. Uh, you and this new person you're, de you're dealing with. That may be an obstacle in your connection. What else for Taurus? And love. New love, please, for Taurus. What do they need to know? New love. Um, some of you children could be an obstacle as well, all right, um, or an age difference between the two of you. Again, this is some sort of uh, like soul contract you have with someone. There is a karmic at play here um, between someone, okay? Either you're dealing with a karmic or they're dealing with a karmic because that keeps showing up here in your reading. Ooh, I just dropped my laptop <laughs> in your reading. Um, but let me see. What else can you tell me about this new connection for Taurus? Um, again, they could be at a distance from you. You have the world, all right? Um, and they could be, or you're all tied up in a situation, or they could be as well. It could be a Pisces. Um, but 
there's some sort of constraint here. So either this person from the past is preventing you from moving on to something new or entangling in your new connection, or it could be the person, the new person that you're dealing with. They have someone like that. Okay, so let's see. What else can you tell me for Taurus and the new person? Wow, broken heart. See, someone here is trying to heal from a broken heart and a connection. Victory. This does have potential to lead to some sort of victory. This new connection. Could be the one with the Leo, I just heard. For some of you. I just heard Gemini too. Some of you, this new connection could be a Gemini. Um, angel of love. There's love here to be given. Look, you have a possibility to make this new connection work. Wow, to, to have that happily ever after here. Okay, but there's some sort of contract that's not fulfilled between you and someone from the past or your person and someone from the past. There's some sort of, um, I just heard interruption or some sort of blockage in this new connection, but there is potential here. Happy family, this four of wands, this happily ever after, okay? Hmm. What's the lesson I'm hearing? The lesson here may be self-love because that's what showed up in the beginning of your reading knowing that you deserve something healthy. Some of you are so used to or programmed mm -hmm, have anxiety and fears due to past relationships that it's difficult for you to accept something healthy, something new. Actually being happy. You're in the space of having anxiety. What else for Taurus? Yeah, you're overthinking it, potentially. Could be dealing with an air sign. Again, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But there's a lot of overthinking going on. Overthinking the situation. Libra is here as well with the contract card. Um, but yeah, there's definitely an energy here of overthinking. I'm seeing feathers too. Um, I don't know why. Uh, feathers, community. So leaning on friends and family for support is showing up here. You may meet this person through friends or family as well. Um, or they could live in your community, literally, this new person. Okay, what else? There's a strong attraction here, though. And again, this can lead to something... Lead to something very stable for you, Taurus. Okay? You have Goddess of the Moon as well. Um, could be a Cancer, Pisces, again. But I feel like a lot of you have lost patience for love. Or a lot of you are in a space of like, I don't really want to deal with it right now. Okay? For some of you, your um, root chakra is not in balance right now. And so there's a message there um, to get that taken care of. Okay. Let's see what else we have for Taurus. But I do feel like you have someone within your energy here. Yeah, ground yourself. Your throat chakra may be out of balance as well. And uh, celebrate yourself. So um, you come a long way. Taurus, you've come a long way. Make sure that you're taking time to celebrate yourself. Um, take a moment to uh, celebrate how far that for how far you've come. Okay, um, ground yourself. Get grounded into your body and connect back to earth. Okay, and your throat chakra may be out of balance. There may be something that you're not really speaking about um, or speaking up for yourself. Could be a lot of negative thinking going on too. I'm getting uh in love and the situation and that's that anxiety that i was telling you about there's a lot of overthinking going on so you do still have some healing work to do uh taurus for those of you i'm reading for and free yourself it's time for you to take back control of your life it's time for you to free yourself from a toxic situation uh, and i feel like a lot of you are trying to do that um yeah and recapturing romance see something new something playful something fun this could be the one something um something that could last a while okay but there's a need to heal from maybe codependency or heal from something from the past this player type of energy this person is coming back in all right yeah but see release your ex and let your friends help you so release your ex let your friends help you that's that community card that i was getting like we need into friends and family for support all right uh clearly decide what it is that you want so that it comes to you so what do you want so taking a step back and being like really clear <laughs> on what it is that you want but you have two cards here freeing yourself and releasing your ex um i'm hearing like the timing was off with this person because this new connection is a divinely guided connection and um i'm getting a song um god bless the broken road that let me led me straight to you uh i think it's a country song um 
listen to that because that's that i'm hearing that with this um energy here it's worth waiting for like this person is coming into your life at div in divine timing um for you and it could lead to something more but there's something pulling you or someone pulling you or trying to and they do come back it's showing up here because and they feel like they that you're going to wait for them so um be mindful of that a lot of you have something brand new coming in if, if they haven't come in already um and it's saying they're saying like pursue that because it seems to be something very stable okay um taurus that is what i have for you i hope that was helpful i hope that brought you some clarity to your situation leave me a comment let me know like share subscribe and i will talk to you guys soon bye